I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the extended half double crochet stitch, which is the pattern that you see here in front of you. And it is just a very pretty, kind of fun variation of the half double crochet. The benefit of these extended stitches is that it gives you a fabric that is a little bit more airy and has a little bit more drape and flexibility to it. So today we're going to learn how to crochet this extended half double crochet. I'm going to be using the Karen Times Pantone Yarn by Yarnspirations as well as a 6mm crochet hook. If it is your first time to my channel or you've been here before and haven't yet already, I invite you to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free stitch tutorials such as this one as well as crochet patterns. So let's grab our hooks and our yarn and get started, we'll learn how to crochet this extended half double crochet stitch. So our stitch today, the extended half double crochet stitch, it is worked in rows, so the first thing you're going to do is make your slip knot. And this stitch can be worked with any multiple. You're just going to want to add three chains for your foundation chain. So today I'm going to chain a total of 12 plus 3, so 15. Fifteen. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working into your fourth chain from your hook. So count in 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's where we're going to work our first extended half double crochet stitch. To work this stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that fourth chain. Now your three chains here at the start, they will count as a stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over and pull through that first loop on your hook. You still have three. You're then going to yarn over once more and pull through all three loops on your hook. So it just adds one more step to that half double crochet, uh, elongating it there just a little bit and giving it a bit of a different look. We're going to try that again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through all three. You can continue to work those stitches down the length of your foundation chain and then we will turn our work. Once you reach the end of your foundation chain, normally when working a half double crochet stitch row, you would chain one and turn your work. But for the extended half double, we're going to chain three. And then turn our work. That chain three counts as a stitch, so you're going to work into the next stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through one loop, yarn over and draw through all three. And that's all there is to working this extended half double crochet stitch. You can continue along the line and then remember when you reach the end of your row to work into that starting chain three as it does count as a stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again and uh, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye!